Welcome back again students to another video lesson. So after natin i-discuss yung addition of integers, so yung rules in adding like and unlike signs, so ang next lesson naman natin is about the subtraction of integers. So for our lesson objectives, we have, of course, to perform subtraction of integers using colored tiles. Next, apply rules in subtracting integers of like and unlike signs. And of course, solve problems involving subtraction of integers. So, yung una nating uh, method, subtraction of integers using colored tiles. So, kung matatandaan nyo, dun sa addition of integers, gumamit din tayo ng colored tiles. So, same tiles pa rin naman ang gagamitin natin kapag positive integers, white tiles, and then pag yellow tiles naman, negative integers. So, let's have the first example. 9 minus 4. So, 9 na white tiles na positive. And then, magma-minus tayo ng 4 white tiles. So, kung tatanggalin natin, ito, 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 tsaka ito, ito na lang ang matitira. And then, bibilangin lang natin yung mga natira. That is, 5. So, since 5 white tiles sila, and white tiles represents positive integers, so 9 minus 4 is 5. Next, letter B, negative 7 minus negative 5. So, yung una muna, negative 7, so yellow tiles. Pito, pitong yellow tiles. And then, magsusubtract tayo ng limang yellow tiles din. So, kung tatanggalin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, ito lang ang mga natira. So, dalawang yellow tiles. So, since yellow tiles represents negative integers, our answer will be negative 2. So, negative 7 minus negative 5, that is negative 2. Okay. So, for example number 3, we have 2 minus 4. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating minwend na 2, mas mababa sa subtrahin na 4. So, paano natin yung isusubtract kung yung mas uh, mababa yung minwend kesa dun sa subtrahin? So, kung elementary students ka, tinanong ka kung ano yung 2 minus 4 ang sasabihin mo lang cannot be kasi hindi naman pwedeng i-minus pero kapag subtraction of integers integers na ang pinag-uusapan siyempre iba na yung rule so ang gagawin lang natin dito is magdrawing tayo ng dalawang white tiles so paano natin isusubtract yung apat na white tiles kung meron lang tayong dalawang uh, white tiles na available so yung rule po natin dito yung technique po natin dito is mag-add tayo ng apat na white tiles at the same time, mag-add din tayo ng apat na yellow tiles. Kasi kapag pinag-add natin yung apat na white tiles saka apat na yellow tiles, zero yon And then, wala din namang, mangi, wala din namang ma mawawala doon kasi two pa rin yun. So, para lang matulungan tayo pa mapakita yung difference between two and four. So, ang mangyayari, ayan. So, ito yung apat na white tiles. And then, apat na yellow tiles. Kapag pinag-add natin tong dalawa na to, zero. And then, two pa rin naman yung lilitaw. Okay. So, and then, ang gagawin natin next, i-subtract na natin yung four. So, since meron na tayong apat na white tiles, tatanggalin na natin yung apat na white tiles ngayon. And then, magpo-proceed tayo sa addition. So, i-rewrite lang natin yung dalawang white tiles, tsaka yung apat na yellow tiles. So, mag-add tayo. And then, pagpaparisin lang natin, ayan, sa nakabilog, so, itong pares na to, yan, mawawala. So, as you can see, ito na lang ang mga natira, yung dalawang yellow tiles. So, i-rewrite lang natin yon So, dalawang yellow tiles, negative integers yan. So, our final answer will be negative 2. Okay, so, ganun pa rin naman. So, ang mangyayari lang dito sa subtraction, magpo-proceed tayo sa addition. So, ganun pa rin naman yung technique niya. Pagpaparisin yung mga tiles. And then, yung mga natira, yun ang magiging final answer. For our fourth example, 1 minus negative 5. So, mag-drawing tayo ng isang white tile. And then, uh, mag-drawing din tayo ng limang yellow tiles. So, as you can see, hindi sila magkapareho. So, para maging balance yan, yung negative 5 na to, at lumitaw pa rin yung 1 talaga, kailangan natin mag-add ng limang white tiles. And then, 
magiging positive 5 yon. So, kapag in natin ng negative 5, tsaka 5, magbibigay ng 0. So, ganun po ah, kapag nag a tayo ng magkaibang kulay. So, kung apat na yellow tiles, apat na white tiles dapat ang idadagdag. So, and then, tatanggalin natin ngayon yung limang yellow tiles. So, ayan. So, makikita nyo, kapag tinanggal natin yung limang yellow tiles, ang mga natira na lang is yung mga white tiles. And then, ire -re write natin yon. So, ilan ang mga natirang white tiles? Bibilangan natin, ayan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, dahil 6 white tiles ang natira, ang answer natin sa 1 minus negative 5 is positive 6. And then, for our last example, negative 3 minus 8. So, yung negative 3, tatlong yellow tiles, and then, magsasubtract tayo ng 8. So, kailangan natin ng 8 white tiles at the same time 8 yellow tiles and then next tatanggalin naman natin ngayon yung walong white tiles so as you can see ang mga natira naman ngayon dito is yung mga yellow tiles so i -re -re write lang natin yun yung mga natira ayan and then bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung yellow tiles na yun so yellow tiles ang mga natira it means ang difference ng negative 3 tsaka 8 ay negative. So, that is bilangin natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, our final answer will be negative 11. So, let's have the rule in subtracting integers. So, isa lang naman ang rule ng uh, subtraction of integers and that is in subtracting integers, change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. So, again, yung mean when, yun yung nasa una. And then, yung mean na minus sa kanya is yung subtrahen. So, yung rule natin dito sa subtraction, papalitan natin yung sign ng subtrahen. And then, we proceed to addition. And that is, ayan. So, ito yung mean when, yung A. And then, yung B, yung subtrahen. So, since yung subtrahen natin, B, uh, positive siya, magiging negative. And then, papalitan nga natin yung, uh, yung operation, magiging addition. And then, pag ganito naman siya, A minus negative B. So, itong negative na to, magiging positive B. And then, we proceed to addition. For better understanding, let's have examples. Number 1, 11 minus 6. So, paano natin siya i-re-write dun sa rule kanina? So, magiging ganito siya. 11 plus, and then itong 6 magiging negative 6. And then, 11 plus negative 6 magiging positive 5. Kasi, subtract natin yon 11 minus 6, that is 5. And then, follow the sign of the bigger value, which is 11. So, 11 minus 6 equals 5. Okay. So, kung hindi natin na-apply yung rules in integers, madali lang naman yung 11 minus 6. And that is 5 nga talaga. Pero, since integers ang pinag-uusapan natin, ganyan natin siya i-represent. Ire Next. 23 minus negative 11. So, magiging 23 plus ang negative 11 magiging positive 11. So, 23 plus 11, that is 34. So, ang change lang natin dito is yung sign ng subtrahend. Yung nasa pangalawa. And then, magiging addition. Hindi natin pinapalitan yung sign ng minuend, yung nauna, which is 23. O kaya yung 11. So, yun lang, subtrahend. So, let's have example number 3 and 4. Negative 9 minus 17. So, that will be negative 9. And then, plus, itong 17, magiging negative 17. As you can see, negative 9 and negative 17, pareho silang negative. Pwede natin silang add and then copy the sign. So, negative 9 plus negative 17, that is negative 26. So, this will be our final answer. Next, number 4. Negative 24 minus negative 13. So, magiging negative 24. Then, plus, yung negative 13 magiging positive. And then, we proceed to addition. So, 24 minus 13, that is 11. And then, we follow the sign of the bigger value. That is negative. So, negative 11. This will be our final answer. And then, for our last examples, 5 and 6, negative 27 minus negative 27. So, magiging negative 27. And 
and then plus negative 27 will be pa will become positive 27 so negative 27 plus 27 so that is 0 okay and then our last example number 6 43 minus negative 49 will become 43 plus negative 49 will become positive 49 so 43 plus 49 pareho silang positive we only add them so 43 plus 49 that is positive 92 so, ayan. Kapag hindi po kasi natin chinange yung sign ng subtrahen and then hindi tayo nag-proceed to addition, automatically, yung difference o yung sagot na makukuha ay mali. And then, let's have the problems involving subtraction of integers. An airplane takes off, then climbs 2,700 feet. After 30 minutes, the airplane descends 3,400 feet. What is the airplane's current height? So, paano natin isosolve yun? Paano natin i-represent using integers? So, dahil nag-takes off, lumipad yung airplane, that is 2,700. And then, after 30 minutes, sabi niya, nag-descends daw. Ibig sabihin ng descends, bumaba. Pag sinabi naman natin ascends, tumaas. So, magiging minus 340. And then, we proceed to uh, the rules in subtracting integers magiging 2,700 plus and then 340 magiging negative 340. Siya ka natin isubtract yung dalawa na yan, 2,700 plus negat uh, minus 340. Ang sagot dito ay 2,360. And then follow the sign of the bigger value. That is 2,700. So, positive ang sagot natin. Final answer natin is 2,360 feet. So, kung tinanong tayo, what is the airplane's current height? Ang sagot natin dito is 2,360 feet. So, let's have the second problem. Camille deposited 62,800 pesos in her account and withdrew 23,500 pesos after a week. How much of her money was left in the bank? So, we have there the word deposited. So, naglagay ka ng pera. Okay, nagdeposit ka ng pera. So, that is 62,800. And then, nagwithdraw. So, ibig sabihin ng withdraw, kumuha. So, ibig sabihin, yung laman ng pera mo sa account mo ay nabawasan. So, magiging minus 23,500. Okay. So, and then, using integers nga, i-represent natin siya magiging 62,800 plus negative 23,500. And then, we subtract the two numbers and then follow the sign of the bigger value. So, ganito siya. 62,800 minus 23,500. So, ito, dalawang 0, bring down. 8 minus 5, 3. 2 minus 3 cannot be. So, borrow tayo dito sa 6 na magiging 5. etong 2, mag-add tayo ng 10, 12, minus 3, 9. And then, 5 minus 2, 3. So, 39,300. So, 39,300 pesos. Okay. Ito na lang po yung perang natira dun sa account ni Camille. Kasi nag-withdraw nga siya ng 23,500. So, this will be our final answer. Problem number 3. Two trains start at the same station at the same time. Train A travels 96 km per hour, while train B travels 78 km per hour. If the two trains travel in opposite directions, how far apart will they be after an hour? If the two trains travel in the same direction, how far apart will they be in two hours? So, ganito yan. Ito yung station. And then, dito banda sa left side, train A. So, na nagtatravel siya ng 96 km per hour, sa so kabila naman, Train B, 78 km per hour. So, kung i-represent natin siya, siya using integers, magiging ganito. 96 minus 
negative 78. Okay? So, ayan. Kasi, dito sa station natin, 96 km per hour ang layo ng train. Dito naman sa train B, 78 km per hour naman ang layo. So, mangyayari dito, 96, and then, magiging positive, etong negative 78, magiging positive 78. And then, i-add lang natin ang 96, tsaka 78, ang mangyayari, 174, Kilometers. So, ito yung layo ng dalawang train after an hour. Question naman natin, if the two trains traveled in the same direction, how far apart will they be in two hours? So, kung kanina opposite direction, ngayon naman same direction, parehong direction. So, bawa A. Una, 96 kilometers. First hour niya. Sa pangalawang oras niya, another 96 kilometer pa rin. Si B naman, 78 kilometers sa, sa loob ng isang oras and another 78, 78 kilometers. Okay. So, and then, i-add natin ang 96 kilometers tsaka 96 kilometers, that is 192 kilometers. So, ito yung uh, na-cover nung train A in 2 hours. And then, yung na-cover naman train B in 2 hours, that is 156 kilometers. And then, isusubtract natin yan. 2 minus 6, that is, uh, cannot be. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, manghihiram tayo dito sa 9, magiging 8, and then yung 2 magiging 12. So, 12 minus 6, that is 6. 8 minus 5, that is 3. Then, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 36 kilometers. So, ito po yung layo ng dalawang train after 2 hours. So, using integers, ganito lang naman din siya, 192 minus 156, and then magiging 192 plus negative 156. Final answer will be 36 kilometers then. Okay. So, yung una kong ginamit, syempre, nirepresent natin siya without using integers muna. Kasi, since integers ang ating lesson, kailangan ko siyang ipakita. So, ito, itong pangalawa na to, using integers. So, I hope naging clear sa inyo yung problem. So, after we've discussed uh, subtraction of integers, the rules in subtracting integers, our next lesson will be multiplication of integers. Ulitin lang natin yung process ng subtraction of integers. So, ang gagawin natin, change the sign of the subtrahend and then proceed to addition. So, yun lang. Ganun lang siya kasimple. And then, yung kapag nag-proceed ka na sa addition, ang gagawin doon, uh, subtract the two numbers and then follow the sign of the bigger value kung unlike signs. Kung hindi naman, add the numbers and copy the sign. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.